Uh huh. You've been saying that for how long, Phoenix? Whip it out, Phoenix. Whip out Whip that, it all. that mm -hmm. long evidence. Mm -hmm. That long, hard. Okay, moving on. Arranged to meet in the woods, nobody bother us. I assume the thing that was added to the testimony. Yeah, the real thing someplace, but wouldn't say where. Porter showed up, chased me off, the rest is history. I didn't kill nobody. I didn't kill Jameson. Stop trying to do this. If not you, then who? I, uh, I don't know. That doesn't help much. Any guesses? It's, it's my uncle. Whoever killed Jameson is framing me, I know that. You've mentioned enemies within... the Ravala's family. Would it be one of them? Makes just as much sense as anything. Vendoreth denies doing ever anything I've, bl I've blamed him? What? I've blamed him for. Is it possible he's actually telling the truth? I guess this is it, right? That moment when you decide whether or not you trust your client. We've chosen, chosen. <laughs> We've been doing this back and forth with you for how long? Shh. You decided you didn't care, right? Shut up. Why are you here? <laughs> Go hang out with your brother. Go hang out with Maya. You're both just as useless as each other right now. He's saying he's innocent, but I don't know if you should believe him. Are you the R devil and the angel, or...? <laughs> that he tried to shoot me! Well, Pearl did. He says he didn't. Is that good enough for you, Nick? You'd say the same thing in his place. Probably. Why are you looking so quizzitive? <laughs> She's thinking. I probably would. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, mm, uh, mm, I don't know. Mm. Where's Apollo? He's lying on the street dead somewhere. There should be something Help. to prove it either way. Help. Mr. We Wright, please. We don't know if we can trust him. I don't care about Apollo. <laughs> so we'll, let, we'll have to let the facts speak for themselves. That sounds good. He's a dirtbag anyway. Let's not put too much faith in him. Okay. Alright, Maya. Rude. Okay, well, So what, apparently... you do the letter thing that freaking idiot gave you? Ah, fuck. Hello. Don't Hello, girl. Many times. Why is she still thinking? She's always thinking. Okay, this is the one. This is it. This is where we end it for good. <laughs> the bloody knife. You're adorable. Letter to Maya. Present. That one. Yeah. Take that. Nope. No. Apparently not. Never mind. Don't take it. Give it back. Oh god. You look over the evidence again. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, I did mean to do this. Come on, Judge, it was an accident. Shit happens, slaps, right? Slaps him with the beard. <laughs> no. No. All right, let me think. Let's go over of evidence. I'm assuming none of that matters. Well, let's start at the beginning. Okay. The very beginning. Menderes' letter? D-Killer's card, that's it. Shovel. Storm Cellar. The YR tab. Menderes. Haven't you don't bother? You can't help you. I know what you did. Nobody can help you. Nobody will. Why'd you write a letter to Jameson? Have we? We haven't. No, he didn't write this to Jameson. <laughs> why, why did you? Why this did you write this letter to somebody? <laughs> why did you write to somebody? It was like, it was, yeah, yeah. This letter was in his own safe, and I don't think we've even presented this for anything yet, have we? I don't think so. But this shit has been going on for how long? <laughs> Keep a keep a thing on this and let's keep going. All right. Footprints, obviously. Mhm. Mm yep. Mm -hmm. They look, Shut up. Mhm. Mm look good. Forest map. Mhm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I look. still said Yosarian. Did it? <laughs> Didn't update it. Nobody updated that piece of evidence. I can't use it. Porter's confession. I knew Jameson was working with him. I didn't actually see the killing blow. 
Finnegan Hood. Finnegan Hood, lad. I don't think. Where are all his uh, personal identifying objects, Francisco? Also, does that mean they took his clothes? <laughs> yes. They was stripped just, him naked. Was he just naked in a hole? <laughs> he was butt naked. In that hole. They didn't take Black's uh, clothes, though. He, he didn't even have them on when he was murdered. <laughs> he just broke out of jail. Don't you know you're naked in jail? <laughs> Depending on how the prison, how how you set up your prison and prison architect. Specimen. Let's move. Hello. I always want to know just from the screen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just mm, that <laughs> lovely, lovely frown and that just this <laughs> just this oblong ass head. <laughs> Ah, Jesus. <laughs> Don't look at my oblong head. You see my dead oblong body. Killer wasn't wearing no glow. Do you have fingerprints, Mandarin? <laughs> Drusy's notes. Mr. Parker is sure he drove Pearl from the diner. Luciano had a vicious... I read that as a vicious steak. <laughs> so did I. He had a really viscous steak. Man, dude, I want, I want, I want a good steak. Mr. Parker doesn't think Javergil. Javergil. <laughs> Javergil Black wasn't alone in Planet Sergalante. Wait, who who was with him while playing Sergalante? Dryson autopsy the Carlo Luciano. Luciano is alive, isn't he? Months too late. I think that speaks a lot. I was joking! Rivala's family threatened Maya. Rivala's. Do we have to do a person? Well, let's just keep going for now. Okay. Damn it. Oh, God! I'm not going all the way back. All right, we're on the trucy notes. Togamara denies killing the Cody. Killing the Cody? <laughs> the Cody. I believe him for some reason. I don't know. He's a fucking murderer, he but didn't you know, I don't believe up. him. All right, I forgot. Mendez avoids discussing business in person. Togamara forges a second bottle in MN6. Why is that? That's mighty number six, right there. Believes Menderes attacked Maya for something about mighty number six. It was a bad game. It'll probably be better than mighty number nine. <laughs> I doubt it. Was Maya six started the bee chick? Who was what? six? I don't fucking remember that was shitty it the ass girl? game. <laughs> the bee light bulb? I don't remember that shitty ass game. I couldn't even get past the first ice thing, ice boss whatever, without the game crashing up a storm. You actually played it? Yeah, I was a backer. You're a fool. Unfortunately. What did you play it on? PC. You want to play the oh, multiplayer? I would got rid of that shit, I think. Okay, you I can re-download it. Oh, I got rid of that shit. Deleted it off of my library for good. Her grandma and Miss Porter knew Donatello was ordered to betray Maya's grandma. That was entire... Is this connected? Is this a... Is Donatello Luciano? <laughs> Donatello is Luciano. Oh no. That's gonna... Shut up. <laughs> That's gonna be the next big twist. I a still say present knife. Bender as his letter. We already did that, though, didn't we? No, that's we? the letter to Maya. Oh. Menderes' letter. Yep. Okay. You were given a note, and it's been bothered... It's been bothered me ever since seeing it. It's bothered me. I read it's been. I don't know why. I know. 
<laughs> you just added that bin right here. This is blank space. <laughs> Now that I know who you really are, it bothers me and it's been bothering me in a whole new way. Why would a leather dress from you with your seal be sent to you? Eh, that's what I was saying. That's the one for my safe. safe. Yeah. I got it after I talked to Jameson about meeting him. It's not the first time I've seen a note signed like this. Meredith Bay received another one threatening her and Pearl. Maya got several others, but you say you've never sent anything of the sort. And you believe him? I do, in fact. You retard. That kind of thing is doesn't fly. It's twenty thirty-seven. <laughs> Whatever the year it is. That's the future. That's the future year argument. There's another person posing as Francisco Menderes. And it is Donatello Raphael. Donatello Luciano. It's Celine Kushari. Donatello Luciana. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. <laughs> Order, Mr. Wright. What is your basis for this, you weirdo? Menderes has a letter in him safe. In him safe. <laughs> in his safe. Seemingly from himself. It already doesn't make any sense, but it gets worse. I, I want to stay perfect tagline for this game, but this game isn't that bad. <laughs> Everywhere else we've seen this signature show up, it wouldn't make sense for him to author it. Yeah, just this part. Just, just this part. Okay. Threatening Meredith? Setting up Togamera? Why would he do that to the people who had helped him? Because he's evil. Maybe they upset him. Perhaps, but as it stands, we don't know anything. And that means there's no reason for us to think it. Maya has gotten several notes of her own, which threaten her and Pearl. Something about that didn't look right. The big connection Meredith, Togamera, Pearl, and Menderes have are all have is through MN6. Meredith was already found. Meredith Menderes was already found not guilty. Too many names! <laughs> Too many M names. So he shouldn't try to silence them. Silence! Yamaya. Silence. Yamaya Menderes. Meredith Pearl. <laughs> Merle. But Pearl. Somebody else has been attacking and setting up Menderes' as allies. Posing as him and using his name to send false messages and orders. Is that why we've only seen him send messages through notes in the internet? And also why he doesn't do anything in person. I'd say it is. This person's posing as the defendant and sabotaging his command of the family. Hmm, it makes sense. But why would they do it? Was it a past victim holding a grudge? I don't think so. It all ties back to MN6 in the end. With two people killed for the bottle, somebody else has a secret to hide. And they plan to frame my client for it all. Shut up. Shut up, Obadiah. Very nicely thought out. But up till now, it's all just conjecture. You're one to it's talk. <laughs> Shut up. Supposition and conjecture are totally different. No, they're not. <laughs> they're the, they are synonyms. What the fuck is a synonym? <laughs> it's that stuff you get on your toast crunch. Oh, that is delicious. I don't eat what? cinnamon toast crunch. I don't either. It tastes like freaking cardboard and wood. I taste frosted flakes. I love They're equally as flakes. bad. Oh, fuck you. Frosted flakes <laughs> are great. I knew you were going to say they were good. If there was anything to hide about MN6, it would be over the identify of <laughs> <laughs> the identify of the killer. It's only funny because of the way you read it. But as you said, why would it matter to him? Over the identify of the <laughs> No matter how you look at it, the only one with anything to hide is him. Right. We know MN6 is the crux to it all, as we've discussed. 
it's yeah, that just, true, idiot. Yeah, that just makes him look all the more guilty. Only he would need to enact a cover-up, and that lends to my henchman theory. Right? Okay, what? but we still don't know how he would have a henchman. In that case, the suspect is plainly the killer. Right? Obi, what? Well, I'll set, Judge. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just as confused as you are. Well, well said, Mr. Williamson. Does the defense have a rebuttal? Please, God. You bet your hairy ass face I do. <laughs> Apparently, Phoenix I, doesn't. I. I. You've done a good job, right? Better than I expected. But we've run out of possible excuses and keep returning to the same conclusion. Francisco Menderes is the mastermind behind everything. There's no point in denying it. I know MN6 is the center of this whole story. But if it is, then Menderes must truly be the killer. Unless that didn't actually happen. But it leaves so many more questions. That can't be it. Is there any other explanation for what happened? I have to come up with it. I need to think hard about this. It might be my last chance. How many last chances Here we go. Is this, has your motherfucking ass had? Ace Attorney 5! If I'm gonna. It really is gonna be Luciano's alive! <laughs> if I'm gonna figure this out, I need to think about what made MN6 special. It wasn't the murder itself. That was just pretty run of the mill? What? <laughs> yeah, pretty run okay, of the you mill. Know, the, just, the you blood know. vomiting in the restaurant. Really run of the mill. <laughs> But, uh, didn't Mr. Kushari say there wasn't blood? Yeah, but... Wait a minute. Shh. What made it noteworthy was how the Ravala's family wanted to influence the outcome. They had their hands dirty the whole way through, no doubt. But what part really stands out for their manipulation? Before the trial, during the trial, after the trial. Before the trial? No. During? No, that's not it. Any killer would try to cover up before the trial. Nothing strange about that. Well, during, I guess, then? I would assume during. I mean, we get unlimited tracks. I would assume before, because they were trying to mess with the thing. Nope. No? After? They lied and forged evidence. <laughs> but I've been a part that's, of that before. That's normal. <laughs> Doesn't really strike me as out of the ordinary. <laughs> Okay. There's nothing out of the ordinary about forging evidence. After the trial. Now I remember it. It happened so clearly now. Went to great lengths to cover up MN6 even after the not guilty. What? The f when did this happen? I. Menderes was home free, so that means there was something else they hadn't been that hadn't been revealed. Somebody on the inside told Trucy that. Who did we learn all of that from? Togamara? Most likely. Togi. Togi. Togi? Togamara told us he admitted he was in on it from the beginning. It fits with everything Williamson mentioned. So despite what Togamara did, I think I can believe it. this is from him. Trucy learned some other oh, things too. Okay. It was only. There was one other thing about MN6, another result of the Ravala's family. What was unique about their influence on the case? Uh, there wasn't an autopsy. Yeah. Until months later. That's right, they didn't have an autopsy report for the trial. <laughs> it really is going to be Luciano didn't die. Yep. In fact, they really didn't is. get one until a long time after the case. They made sure nobody got a close look until after it would have made a difference. That is, until Dr. Dreisen examined the body several months later. Why would they bother? What sense does that make? They still needed to hide something, to hide some fact, but about what? What was the big secret about? Uh, the, the victim. victim. Yep. The big reason to stall an autopsy is that there's something off about the corpse. Something you don't want people to know. But what would that be? That's why Mr. Kushari didn't see any blood vomit. Williamson thought it was to help Menderes, but was that really it? 
No, it would be to protect him. Not after the verdict. But it was to protect somebody. Somebody still had a secret they didn't want told. What was it? Who would they delay the autopsy for, and why? People, people, yeah. people. <laughs> Carlo Luciano never died. There was no murder. They prevented the autopsy to hide the fact that they'd switched the bodies. And that means he's still out there somewhere. Beautiful. There was no murder. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's just going to be looking at him like, Phoenix. What was that? Did you just say what I think you said? That should be a clip. You heard right. <laughs> Luciano is still alive, and if he faked his death... He would be the mastermind and the killer. The gallery's going fucking crazy for this. Mr. Jameson tried to tell me the same thing in the lobby for Miss Iris's trial. But I told him he was mistaken. Because I am an idiot. He, he had figured it out and he wanted to tell me. It just seemed so ludicrous. This is the secret he died trying to expose. And it's your fault he's dead. Pretty much. Menderes didn't murder him at all. He never followed his uncle's orders to kill him. How can that be? He was dead at the scene. The family made sure the investigation didn't proceed as planned. Especially in regards to the body. They never got an autopsy. It's true. That always confused me, but I never... I never asked questions. But there was a dead body and we, we found someone. It was another man's corpse they swapped, a look-alike. Luciano played dead for Mr. Kushari. Then, when Togamera came, they brought in the real victim. Salim Kushari swore he never saw blood around Luciano, and that's because he didn't take the poison. Then they continued to block the autopsy to prevent the truth from coming out. Menderes and Togamera helped Luciano cover up that he was still alive. Menderes, is this true? Yes. Stop flashing. If it is, then you know why I can't say yes. Luciano has already has it in for you. Who do you think set you up? Williamson did his own part, but the, ori the original reason you're here is because Jimmy got killed. He's the one who's been toying with your allies, making them turn against you. We've arrested three people who worked for you, and they all directly named you. You knew you were being framed, and you knew who it was, too. Now I'm naming the guy responsible. Am I right, or aren't I? Spot on. <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh boy. <laughs> Why? Oh, he looks like a chipmunk! No, his, his entire model just decided to freak out. I didn't see. I hope that... I hope that got in the recording. <laughs> it is! It was weird. Like he was trying to do three animations at once. <laughs> we finally settle on the chipmunk. So he is still alive? Yeah, judge. Judge. If he is, he must be a top suspect. He fits the bill to a T. I don't know. Where is Luciano, Menderes? Where is he now? I don't know. You have any idea what will happen to me if I tell you? I can only imagine. However, I do know what will happen if you don't. This court will find you guilty and you'll be executed for three murders. I thought we got off of capital. What? Nope. For three murders you didn't commit. Oh, but I was like, I will do everything in my power. Sounds ironic, doesn't it? If we fail here, Obadiah is like, I will kill him myself. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know Carlo Luciano was still alive. <laughs> and he is the one who killed these three people. <laughs> 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 and what if you don't get him? What if I tell you and you screw up somehow? I have a bit of faith in me. Okay, uh, I've gotten you this far. 
I did the logic thing, Menderez. It's all gotcha. good. <laughs> He's the... Oh, my. He's Dreisen? What? That would make sense. That's that would be his autopsy. <laughs> himself. The doctor? And that would explain I... why he was the first one to find Cody. I didn't expect that. Nope. <laughs> We expected Luciano, but mm, Drassen. It's still not his post. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he autopsied himself. There, there. Don't make me have to say it again. He was another man in the body bag. Somebody he got. No, the Doctor Drassen. For this whole time, he's been. Stop. This is all insane. Dr. Dryson has been working with us the whole time. He could never lie. We share a beard ship. I thought you were gonna say, we share a bed. <laughs> nope. That I right didn't... is reserved for you, right? <laughs> I didn't kill your friend, Williamson. I'm not the one you want. If you don't trust him, trust Jimmy. He tried to tell you and you brushed him off, you dipshit. It's your fault he's dead. You <laughs> owe it to him to make up for it now. Just make him feel just terrible. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't stand to see his big hands like that. <laughs> Fine. Bring in the coroner. You're doing the right thing, prosecutor. You don't need to feel bad about it. Are we Come gonna lecture talk, me. Are we gonna talk about the fact that the creator commented on one of the videos? <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> he commented because I'd said one of the pictures looked like he stole it from DeviantArt. <laughs> and he got mad about that. I didn't mean it! I didn't mean like I thought you stole it from DeviantArt. I said it, I thought it looked super different compared to the rest of the art in the game. So it looked like it came from somewhere else. What are the chances he's going to be sticking around to watch oh, this he's episode? Not. <laughs> he, that was just a random episode fifty something. Yeah, I know. Just like kind of out of the that blue he would one pick day. That one out. I know. The the a theatrical return, huh? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I'll, I'll jump into this one. <laughs> Maybe somebody he knows was like, dude, these people over here, they're shit talking your fan game. Except we're not. It's only Case 3 that was bad. Case 3 was bad. Yeah. The rest of them have just been alright. Like, there's been way too much repeated words, repeated words, repeated words, repeated information. But, I mean, that happens in Phoenix right all the time. Not to this degree, but it happens all the time. Yeah. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the game. No. I mean, it's too it's long. A it's a little long. It's way it's, too but long. It's, it's a good attempt yeah, at I mean, a Phoenix Wright. Yeah. You, you captured the style. You nailed it. Yeah. Right you did a lot of awesome th You did a lot of awesome things. You did a lot of awesome twists and turns. Yeah. I mean, I somehow Along this, figured... That is not his mind. <laughs> nope, not even close. I somehow figured out the big twist, but I didn't figure out the second twist. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor, are you aware of why you have been brought here? My, my. I must say I haven't the faintest, sir. At least we don't have to do a new voice until he takes off yeah, his glasses and fixes his posture. <laughs> I am going to do a new voice if he changes. <laughs> He's going to take them glasses off, the beard's going to pop off. <laughs> He's going to fix his posture and just be like, Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Was there an error with one of my reports? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Mm. One from about an 13 years ago. An incomplete one, to be exact. Hmm, well, not quite. Mr. Wright, I will leave the witness to you. Doctor, we believe that, that Carlo Luciano may be responsible for these killings. Do you have any idea how that might be possible? My, what a strange thought. Don't you think it's a bit outlandish? 
The cadaver could hardly have murdered anyone! Exact. Luciano's not dead. Aha! So that's why you brought me forth, is it? You think I made some mistake with the corpse, and so you wish for me to confirm? Sure, let's go with that. In a manner of speaking. You're close. Well, Not sure, red hot. There couldn't be more, unless... You think I'm the killer? You I have swallowed... You have swallowed the ghost chili pepper. But let us realize, sir, that this would be even more baseless than before. An absolutely baseless claim would never come from you, I'm sure. Not quite as baseless as you might think. Fear is not always the best way to keep others from telling a secret. You've been exposed. There's nowhere to run. Was it the suspect? Are you admitting it? Ah, so it was, I see. I need to figure out this voice. <laughs> you went Wesker there for a second. A little bit. <laughs> no, I'm admitting nothing, for that would be ridiculous. He hasn't changed yet. Yeah, no. It just seems to be a bit silly coming to believe anything coming from his mouth. Do you not believe that he would support any lie to be proved innocent? Unless perhaps you have some actual proof I have indicating I have some secret identity. Ah, uh, no, I thought not. Well, if I must, I will do my best to clear this filthy accusation. I'm lightheaded. What is this? You think Carlo Luciano is still alive? Well, that's simply unthinkable. I wrote the autopsy myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was delayed in performing it, but the specimen remained in police custody the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, and to say that I might be Luciano, simply mind-boggling, preposterous. Exactly what Luciano would say in, his, in that position. Yes, Luciano is dead, quite dead, and still is too- what? I was dead. <laughs> still is too, if I'm not mistaken. Luciano's dead. And He's still dead. dead. He still is. You didn't actually say anything day. to prove your point. I did not have to, sir. It is you with whom the burden of proof lies. Am I not right, Mr. Prosecutor? It would be the accuser's responsibility. Hmm. You have given your denial, and from the lack of direct evidence, we can't push you. I read that as punish. <laughs> he didn't give me anything to argue against. The testimony's too vague, so press it. We, we cannot punish you. All he had to do was deny the accusation. It's what we have. The idea of him being Luciano was to, uh, a suspect to begin with. And not a hint of uh, proof beyond the word of a madman on his last lifeline. I've said my part and I leave the rest up to you. <laughs> Want to call the audience? <laughs> Phone a friend? Yeah. Help? Do you really think he's that assassin? So I would assume that this would be the part that's redacted, so we don't get any more help from here on. Nope. Fuck. I'm not <laughs> sure. How can I even say? Don't give up. Never you might give not up. have any. Trust your instincts. Never surrender. You might not have anything to go off of, but it, I might still be oh, able to help. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Let me take the rain. Let me take the reins for a while again, and I'll see if he slips up anywhere. Not much choice right now. You did good before. Tell me what you've got. Actually be useful for this trial. Unlike Maya. Maya, try to channel Luciano. Maya, try to oh, channel can't. someone useful. If, you can't, if she can't channel Luciano, that means he's not dead. 